Welcome. Electric charges and electric field introduction. And because of this video, I want to say something about conductors. Conductors, they are elements that allow electricity to pass through them. Insulators, they are elements that do not allow electricity to pass through them. Under this topic, electric charge and electric field, I want to go straight to the point. The basic law of electrostatics, we know that light charges, they repel, plus and plus, when you bring them together, they repel, minus, and when you bring a negative charge and a negative charge, you bring it together, it repels, but unlike charges, attract. When you bring a positive and a negative charge together, you bring them together, they attract. Now, another second law is the net amount of charge produced in any process is zero. Now, let's go straight to the point. We talked about, note, I said that the charge is, on a substance is quantitized. Now, look at this equation here. We have that the charge is equal to Ne. And then the charge, we say that the Q is the charge in columns. The N is the number of electrons. And then E is the charge of an electron. And the charge of an electron is 1.06 times 10 raised to the power minus 19 columns. Now, throughout the course of this video, I'll be going direct to the point. Let's look at an example. Now, we have a, a, an example on the board. And a plastic rod is rubbed against a wool. The uh, above acquiring a charge of minus zero degrees. So, from here, the charge is minus 0 0.8 microcoulombs. How many electrons are transferred from the wool shell to the plastic? So right now, remember I gave you a formula that the charge is the number of electrons times the charge of an electron. So now they just want you to, we want to calculate how many electrons. The number of electrons is what they want us to calculate. So all you need to do is N is Q all over E. And so from here, we have minus 0 0.8 times 10 is for minus 6. Why? Whenever you see this symbol, micro columns is times micro is times 10 is for minus 6. So you divide it by, remember the charge, minus 1.6 times 10 is for minus 19 columns. Now, please note this that uh, the electron is negative charge and the proton is always positively what? Charge. From the atom. Now, if you calculate or punch your calculator very well, what you should get is 5 times 10 to the power of 12. 5 times 10 to the power of 12. Remember, please, that from here we have micro columns. So this is a column. The charge is also measured in columns. So columns will always cancel columns. So that is the answer for that question. Let's move to example number two. So number two. We have a small copper plate has a mass of 3 grams. The atomic um, number of copper is 29. And the atomic mass is uh, 63.5 gram. 63.5 gram per mole. What is the total charge of the electron in the copper plate? Now, this question is a little bit tricky. Before we solve this, we have to apply the stoichiometry in this question to solve this. So applying stoichiometry, so um, in using stoichiometry, we have 63.5 grams of copper. How many atoms are there? We have 0 0.62 times 10 to the power of 22 atoms. Now, we have 3 grams. I want to know the number of atoms that is in 3 grams of copper. So 3 grams of copper, how many atoms? I need. So by cross multiply, you have that the x atoms will give you this will be 3 times 6.02 times 3 to the power of 22, and then you divide it by 63.5. Now, if you punch your calculator very well, it's 4 times 3 to the power of 22 atoms. Now, I haven't gotten the number. Now, since we have gotten the, the number of 
electron in this portion. Now, all we need to do is put it inside here, this formula to get the total net charge. But remember, please, an atom has the same number of electron and proton. Remember, we said something um, in my video on, on isotope. Whenever you have an atom, the number of proton and electron are the same. Now, look at this question. We have the proton number to be 29. Now, if you have the proton number to be 29 and they say it's an atom, that means that the, ele the, the electron in this an atom is also what? 29. Now, if this is 29, now, so we have 29 electrons. So we have the charge here in this atom is 29 electrons. The number of electrons, we've already calculated it to be 2.84. So 2.84 times 10 raised power of 22. Now, times we have 29 electrons. And each electron is minus 1.6 times 10 raised power of minus 19 coulombs. So if you tie this thing together, you should get your simple answer to be minus 1.32 times 10 raised to the power of 5. We should get minus 1.32 times 10 raised to the power of 5. Now, of course, you know that charge is measured in, in coulombs. So that is